So, welcome to the Cosmoverse. Uh, my name is Brent. I'll be presenting UMI, and we are crossing the DeFi waves. So, the overall vision and mission of UMI is to bring the, the bond markets or the debt capital markets to crypto. And we'll be doing many different types of use cases and tools for bringing these, these types of assets into IBC. Because IBC, think of it this way. Uh, back in the early internet days, we saw TCPIP and OSI fighting a war. Eventually, TCPIP won. IBC is going to do the same. And we are fully behind this protocol and how it's going to support the adoption of crypto. So UMI is going to be focusing on three main avenues for bringing the overall debt capital markets to crypto. First off is the UMI blockchain. This is the barn and lending hub. The UMI blockchain is an omni debt hub that allows IBC assets to be borrowed and lent and be used as leverage for different types of interchain DeFi protocols and cross-chain composability. We're also focusing on a native yield curve or a term structure of interest rates. So a term structure of interest rates is arguably the most important concept in finance. Because what it does, it's, it's used to produce your opportunity cost or the time value of money. So in Cosmos, we have a very powerful proof of stake rate. And proof of stake is the ultimate hedge against inflation. And it's the, per, it's the ultimate risk-free rate that can be applied to different protocols. We intend to use these base rates to build out a yield curve to price all of the rest of the crypto ecosystem. And third, we're working on this interoperable bond market. So connecting the bond markets to IBC, basically allowing different types of debt capital market primitives to interact with the IBC protocol and connect with the interchain. First off, big shout out to our core engineers, our product engineers, as well as infrastructure engineers. They're hard at work on a mainnet upgrade, and we will be bringing the flagship product to the Millie blockchain onto the network. Throughout our many test nets, we've had various great interactions. We've had significant support from the ecosystem. On the Arumi Mania test net, we saw close to 30 billion TVL, 20 million monthly transactions, as well as 120,000 unique addresses. Through this mainnet upgrade, we're adding SDK 046. We're one of the first teams to implement 046. We're also adding the latest version of IBC. By building out this leverage module, we want to connect all of the IBC assets in the bond and lending ecosystem and allow them to interact with the multi-chain universe. A note on oracles. So right now, there's not a major oracle in the Cosmos ecosystem, and that's a problem. We know that oracles are one of the most important parts of crypto. Look at the March 12, 2020 crypto crash, where oracles went out of whack because of precipitating price decreases, and we saw lots of DeFi get liquidated with precipitous losses in the ecosystem. Through UMI, we're building an oracle on top of the blockchain. Validators in the UMI network will need to run an oracle module, and they'll also run an off-chain price feeder that's taking time-weighted average prices from centralized exchanges and creating different types of uh, price feeds for the broader Cosmos ecosystem. We want to utilize this oracle to provide the best types of data for all of Cosmos and IBC assets. We want to use uh, IBC queries to query information directly from the Oracle and just allow an ultimate cross-chain DeFi protocol for, for onboarding more assets. You can think of uh, our approach to the Oracle as a way to pr produce not just price feeds, but information feeds, uh, interest rate feeds, uh, collateral value feeds, as well as many types of data that can apply to cross-chain DeFi. Custody is also a major piece of the Cosmos ecosystem and a major piece of crypto. In order to get institutional adoption, in order to bring more value into the broader capital markets, you need a strong custody provider to understand Cosmos assets. We're working with custody providers to help them understand proof of stake consensus, to understand how to manage validators, and to understand how to be part of this Cosmos ecosystem as we see more and more growth. Overall, we want to support institutional custody adoption because we think that this will catalyze the next adoption of this multi-billion dollar network and just bring us to the next level. We're grateful for our partners such as Coinbase who have been working with us on the custody side as well as Pine Street Labs creating their universal API as well as CoinList who's been with us since day one in building out this protocol. We're building out middleware universal APIs, we're building out um, MPC management systems and just overall helping the development of the Cosmos ecosystem. 
So staking derivatives. Earlier I said proof of stake is the perfect hedge for inflation. And there's many ways you can think about this. Proof of stake is the, the, the preeminent way to understand opportunity costs in all of crypto. For example, let's take a proof of stake rate for the Cosmos Atom for one month. Apply it to two months, three months, six months, 12 months, two years, five years, 10 years, 30 years. And you effectively have priced the value of time using proof of stake consensus. This is very important because for financial economics to work, there needs to be an understanding of time value and how different assets are, are, are valued and, and applied in different discounted cash flow models. And by using staking derivatives as a way to price this time value, you will see the adoption of multi-tier assets into this space, and you will see more uh, uh, advanced borrowing and lending protocols being built as, as the ecosystem evolves. We're going to be allow, uh, allowing leverage staking as well as proof-of-stake assets for borrowing and lending on the UMI blockchain. And through this, we want to catalyze the adoption of proof-of-stake consensus to allow it to be known as a universal protocol that all blockchains should adopt. So a, a note and uh, an, ad an anecdote from traditional finance. The mortgage-backed security crisis happened in 2008. We saw a tremendous destruction of value. $50 trillion of value just disappeared. And the truth of the matter is that this was actually happening for 30 years since the first issuance of the mortgage-backed security in 1984. This was due to bad debt. This was due to rehypothecation of the collateral. And this was just due to an overall broken traditional finance system. One thing to note about the recent crypto crash with uh, different lending protocols like BlockFi, Celsius, Nexo, um, Babel Finance, and, and, and others, is that there's a major silver lining. Even though these protocols or these, these teams had bad debt, everything was on a public blockchain. Everything was open source. And so it only took about two months for this whole crisis to unwind, and everyone realized what was going on. As with the mortgage crisis, it took 30 years. This is a major improvement to how blockchain is changing our world. Uh, and based on this, we want to provide good analytics platforms. So we're building Astrolabe inside of UMI. Astrolabe has been used to monitor different forms of supply volume, borrow volume, and just understand the overall health and monitoring of these different loans. And through building out these monitoring analytics platforms, we want to bring better transparency and just overall superior auditability of this financial data. Additionally, we're partnering with Forda. Forda has done a great job on Ethereum smart contracts. They're also looking at cross-chain interactions between bridges and ensuring that there is sufficient monitoring and, and acknowledgement of different transactions between these chains. These protocols will be the key to making sure that our future financial ecosystem is safe, transparent, and well-structured to, to produce more value and add more uh, forms of TVL into the overall blockchain ecosystem. So stable coins, one of the biggest parts of the equation as it relates to fixed income and bringing the debt markets to crypto. So Web3 infrastructure, that can include scalability, interoperability, and privacy, along with different debt primitives in the credit markets and capital market space, can be combined to form the future of the fixed income ecosystem and bring the trillion dollar value directly into crypto. We're grateful for you know, support from our partners such as MakerDAO and bringing DAI into the Cosmos ecosystem. We're also looking to support the USDCs and tethers of the world as they bring more of their stablecoin market share into Cosmos. And we're also really grateful for all of the developments from the Kujiras of the world, the Harbors, as well as um, uh, Agoric, and building out stablecoins with the Cosmos ecosystem. And we want to see these stablecoins persist and develop as Cosmos is further developed, uh, further, further acknowledged by the overall blockchain ecosystem. So. The markets are always asking, what is the next billion dollar idea? The answer to that is generally either a, a new chain or a new protocol, to a point where we see sort of this arms race. If Ethereum is not you know, fast enough, try Solana. If Solana is not scalable enough, try Aptos. If Aptos is not usable enough, try Rollups. If Rollups are not uh, self sovereign enough, try Cosmos. To the point where we see just so many blockchains out there, and so the real question becomes, what is the solution to connect them all together? The answer, IBC. IBC is the TCP IP of crypto. It's the only true layer zero protocol. 
and it's low level enough that it can connect with Solana uh, sub, uh, clusters, Avalanche subnets, it can connect with rollups, it can connect with ETH 2.0 shards, it can connect with any Cosmos SDK chain, it can connect with the BNB beacon chain, uh, it can even connect with Polygon. We actually connected uh, UMI with the Polygon Heimdall consensus layer using IBC because Polygon uses Peppermint, which is a fork of Tendermint consensus, making that connection very easy. The point is, there's 50, 60 plus IBC chains out there, and they're all contributing to the interchain. Just saw a great presentation from Dennis earlier about Ignite CLI. More, more IBC chains will launch, and we will see a further interconnected world. But we think that there's going to be a thousand chains in 2024. And what is going to be the catalyst to, to produce these thousand chains? What is going to you know, onboard all of these thousand chains in the Cosmos ecosystem? For the first time, we're announcing UDX. UDX is the lending DAO of the UMI blockchain, and UDX is going to focus on bringing the broader debt capital markets, the trillion dollar markets, into crypto loan by loan. So what's special about UDX? For UDX, every loan issued through the platform will be a blockchain in and of itself. Enter the loan-specific blockchain. By creating a blockchain for every loan, you can have three major components. One is TVL, uh, affiliated with the blockchain, can be used as collateral. As a blockchain gets more TVL, it will increase the collateralization of the loan. As the blockchain gets more IBC transactions in and out of the chain, it will increase cash flow activity of the loan, boosting the collateralization that you can uh, affiliate with the loan itself. Second, the blockchain can act as a financial ledger like a cash flow statement or a, a quarterly statement, something that showcases the health of the loan. You can use a block explorer to basically understand all the information entering the blockchain and anything needed to facilitate a better loan platform. And third is the blockchain itself is a special purpose vehicle for underwriting the loan, creating a new way to onboard new loans into the IBC ecosystem. Through this platform, we want to bring a thousand loans in the ecosystem, as well as a thousand new chains that connect with IBC. IBC is the new standard for value transfer. And by rebuilding different parts of the loan market using this protocol, we want to see further adoption of IBC, and we want to see the, the, the development and evolution of the IBC network. A note on Atom 2.0. So this was one of the, the, the biggest announcements in the space. This will also catalyze the adoption of Cosmos, as well as the adoption of interchain security. Interchain security is also a major piece of the debt capital markets, a major piece of the loan ecosystem, because for the first time, you can have cross-chain collateralization. All of the loan-specific chains will be consumer chains of the UMI network, and these chains can be used as collateral for other types of borrowing and lending that happen throughout UMI. Through allowing interchain security through Cosmos, we want to create new cross-chain collateral and new uses of chain protocols as they help with the building of, of different debt foundations. Additionally, UDX will catalyze the adoption of the UMI token. The UMI token will be used as a collateralization factor and will help improve overall collateral as you stake UMI tokens. Additionally, UMI tokens will be used as an insurance by u being used as a, uh, as a backstop for different types of Debt, uh, debt primitives. We want to create different, um, different insurance backstops to prevent further defaults and better catalyze the, the efficacy, efficacy of these loans. Furthermore, UMI tokens will receive airdrops directly from the loan specific chains, as well as value accrual directly from the protocol of the borrowing and lending that's happening. UDX will catalyze further developments of UMI and build out this network to, to further allow more uh, more forms of assets to join the IBC ecosystem. When you think of IBC and beyond, I want you to think about um, you know, IBC being able to rebuild the cash flow piece by piece. We want to think about loans being rebuilt as, as specific chains to, to further develop how, how we, we view this ecosystem and further develop how the financial market should be viewed from a holistic capacity. So I always talk about this vision, bringing the bond markets, bringing the debt capital markets to crypto. But what does this mean? We all know the bond markets are the biggest, one of the biggest, if not the biggest market in the world, 
and we want to catalyze this adoption piece by piece, starting from the leverage module, allowing different forms of borrowing and lending between IBC assets, allowing leverage of IBC tokens in the broader Cosmos worse, as well as combining this with staking curves, combining this with proof of stake consensus, allowing proof of stake to be this new benchmark for how value should be accrued in the network. This will catalyze further, further interactions between, between IBC networks as well as proof of stake protocols. And by adding the concept of the bond market directly into this protocol, you see an overlay of technology for how we should be viewing the future of financial development. Ultimately, we want to rebuild the bond markets, but eventually we actually want to be bigger than the bond market because, you know, those markets are one of the most opaque, non-transparent ecosystems in the world. But by bringing everything open source, by bringing everything on a public blockchain, and by connecting everything with IBC, we will build a better market for the future generations to come. And we will be evolving as a, as a, as a universal uh, capital market debt hub, and we will be providing a broader Omnidex, uh, Omni-debt hub perspective to how folks are reviewing the development of cross-chain DeFi. I'm Brent Shu. Thank you so much for your time.